Hi, I'm Jennifer, founder and CEO of Keepster. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to view your messages in the Keepster app. I log in first, and then I go to the backups tab. I then select the device which has the messages I'd like to revisit. I select the most recent backup, which is marked with a date when it was created. And for the very first time that you would want to view your messages, you would be required to please click on the button to agree to our terms and conditions once you've had a chance to review them. Next, I'm going to choose the messaging platform where I'd like to view some messages. So in this case, you can see that I message on both iMessage and WhatsApp. Right now, I'd like to take a look at my iMessages. So I click on that icon to select them and all my messages are right there, appearing exactly as they do on my phone. Next, I can scroll down to see all the conversations I've had with all the various people I know. I can click on a contact name to see all my texting conversations with each person. And in this example, I'm looking for conversations with my friend, Brooklyn. Um, once I find his, converse, his conversation and I'm inside the chat thread, I can just click on the oldest button to see the very first conversation that I had with him, or I can click the newest button, which is on the right hand side, and that will bring up our most recent conversation. Now, to search for a specific message, I can search by key keyword. I simply type in a word in that field. So for an example, in the case of my chat with Brooklyn, I can't remember the exact address for an apartment that we were talking about. I can only remember it was on Flatbush Avenue. So I'll type Flatbush in the keyword search window and the text containing the search word will automatically pop up. So here it is, apartment 3A. I can also search for a particular conversation by date range. So to do that, I simply open up the calendar and I select the dates from when until when. Or I can use the quick date search options for the last seven days, the last 30 days, etc., that are listed just below the calendar. If I decide to discard those date range limits, I simply select all dates just above the range search field, the date range search field. To go back to a previous screen, I simply select the back arrow at the top of the screen. The home button will always take me back to the very first screen where I will have a list of my backups and keepsters eventually when I create them. And if you have any questions, our friendly chatbot is always there to help you. Um, or you can click on the hamburger menu to refer to our FAQs. And of course, you can always email us at support. You now have all the know-how, how to view and find the messages that are important to you. We trust that you'll find the app super easy and intuitive to use. Lastly, when you are done using Keepster, we strongly suggest you click on the hamburger menu to log out of Keepster to be sure no one sees your messages but you. And remember, you will need your password to log back in again. We totally get how much your privacy matters. Thanks for using Keepster and we hope it's going to be a game changer for you.